this is the last guy that I would want to be in contact with if I was a Democrat, if I was a leftist. This guy is like the first string. He is the guy that if you're trying to play a game of basketball, he's the first guy that you choose. He is pretty much the Hulk of the Avengers, basically. We're going to be reacting to Ben Shapiro's best moments of all time. I'm actually really excited to get into what it is I'm going to be seeing from Shapiro. I've seen a couple of his highlights before. I've even reacted to one of them before. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you go down to my video section and go check that out. Let's get into this catastrophe that's about to happen. Able to come up with any actual metric for how exactly we'd go about doing that. What do you do with, for example, Barack Obama, whose father was black and not from the United States and therefore not having history with slavery, and a mother who is white. Would his family receive slavery reparations? How about Kamala Harris, whose, whose father is Jamaican and mother this is guy's Indian? A machine Did she receive gun. slavery reparations? Oh from gosh. whom? Did she receive slavery reparations from me? My great-grandparents got here in 1907, long after slavery was over, and lived their entire lives in the North, where Jim Crow was not in effect. It's, it's almost impossible. I, I think like, not I almost. It is impossible anymore. to come up with a fair metric for recompensing slavery yeah. 10 generations after slavery's end. If you want the unhinged left sinks even lower. Joshua Topolsky, co-founder of the tech website The Verge, has sparked an uproar after a vile attack against conservative commentator and writer Ben Shapiro, tweeting, quote, Oof. Ben Shapiro is the Jew who helps other Jews onto the train. Now, Topolsky has now deleted the tweet, but not because it's disgusting to compare Shapiro this is who the is last Jewish person. to a Nazi collaborator. Uh, for other reasons. And in a follow-up, he tweeted, quote, I deleted it because uh, uh, a mob on the right of the right-wing babies who were flooding my, my mentions, and it was frankly pretty annoying, as were the DM Why death would threat. you say, first Joining of all, to respond is the Daily Wire's oh Ben Shapiro. Oh my gosh, he's ben, the last we're person I'd want to insult. My goodness. When the left is in him, Good uh, God. unhinged. Help and us you all. have a special way of unhinging them. But this was oh really, God, I mean, I keep I saying a new low, go but this really is a new low. I've never heard of this person before, but I guess he's kind of big in the tech world. Ben Shapiro. Where are we here? Go ahead. I mean, uh, I've been called worse by better, so. Completely and totally bipartisan, yet <laughs> still, to say. Republicans okay, in the House really won't even bring the bill to the floor for a vote. Richard, that I just tells you question. right there, Larry, that they don't agree with the pathway to citizenship. Why I I can't they vote? Uh, honestly, I have one question in all of this. Seriously, just one question. Why not just secure the border and then put a pathway to citizenship why in? Why can't those happen at the same time? Why don't you answer my question instead of asking me back why? I, I just explained to you why they can't. Uh, here's why they can't happen at the same time. As you secure the border, the border remains somewhere what open people cross the border because they feel that if they get in before the deadline if they get in before the border is secure then they are somehow included have in the pathway to the citizenship you have what no, do you think is happening there's no law right now but in oh, the that's Senate no bill, law right we now. talk about we talk You're about right. there's no law against crossing the border illegally law, yeah. we, if we can just trust the government then why are we just trusting the government to do the right thing now i don't ah. understand why a piece of legislation makes them better the video at what I they do to. i mean the government is not very good at what they're doing now why did why does new wording make them not suck because part of the reason the problem that i have i think that you can accept and tolerate people's behavior um and that you know demonstrates non-homophobia i think that it is ridiculous to suggest that just because you're not celebrating, you know, on the cover of Sports Illustrated, somebody coming out of the closet and you think, you know, it's relatively unimportant in the grand scheme of things because people should be able to live their lives the way that they want. I, I don't really understand. You know, there are folks who are saying that that was a homophobic tweet. And I'm still confused as to how it's homophobic simply to say that you don't think it's a heroic move in today's America to come out of the closet the same way that it was maybe 20 years ago. In well, we haven't had America, an ATF director keywords. for the last 10 years. We haven't, we haven't had an ATF director for the last 10 years because the NRA won't even the NRA won't even allow us to have a Surgeon General because because the guy uh, wanted common sense gun control. Well, the, the ATF is a little bit uh, busy smuggling guns south of the border to the drug cartels. Oh, come on. On the gun control Goodness. debate, they keep trotting out children as though we should be taking policy prescriptions from seven-year-olds. You know, it used to be in this country that when a president of the United States said, I'm dealing with this issue because, for example, my 13-year-old daughter cares about nuclear disarmament, we laughed them. We laughed at them. We laughed them out of the public sphere. Jimmy Carter comes to mind. When President Obama walks out there with a bunch of seven-year-olds and says, I'm doing it because these seven-year-olds, they care about gun control, Give me a break. I mean, if we're taking our policy prescriptions from kids who can't spell either policy or prescription, we have a problem. Let me tell you something about safe spaces. There's only one group of people, one group of people I'll come in on who that want later. safe spaces that are race specific. There are only one group of people that want safe spaces so that they never have to hear from anybody of a different ideology or political persuasion. Those people are called fascists. 
Okay, and you've got a bunch of fascists, damn fascists on this campus who are trying to shut down political debate and trying to cloister themselves yep. in this little cocoon of stupidity so they don't have to debate anyone or think about issues outside their kin so that they can feel comfortable. Guess what? Life that isn't is about feeling comfortable. Life is about bettering yourself. Get off your stupid pansies. I have grown. My Ooh. wife is a doctor. Ooh, I felt okay, which means she's felt accomplished more in her short life than Hillary Clinton oh has gosh, in her Shapiro entire life. The hero. My wife's a doctor who takes care of people. She never at any point in her life sat around thinking, you know what, I can't be a doctor until Hillary Clinton, a corrupt old shrew, becomes uh, a presidential nominee. Uh, the reason is this. The basic premise of socialism is, I'm here, I'm breathing, give me crap. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I have an, you have an obligation to care for me. I have a right to health care. I can force that doctor to go to medical school, expend $200,000, spend her entire life learning medicine, and then I can walk into her house and force her to provide me medicine. Right? Capitalism, by nature, is the opposite. Capitalism is the idea that I will starve unless I give you a good or a service that you want. The idea that oh my that gosh, not sex this one. Or gender are malleable uh, brother. is not true. You have to be a boy to be a boy scout. Yes, I read okay. In, In the, the name, name boy scouts. scouts. <laughs> Seen that one? That was savage. That was a good comeback. That was you good. are going to dictate to me that I'm supposed to pretend. I'm supposed to pretend that men are women and women are men. No. My answer is no. I'm not going to. I'm not going to modify basic biology because it threatens your subjective sense of what you are. Is you tend to demonize people who differ from you politically by standing Ooh, on the graves of the children of Sandy Hook, saying they don't seem to care enough about the dead kids. Oh, if they cared more about the dead like kids, they would agree with you on policies. When you say money and politics oh, is bad, again goodness. I ask yeah. you, Buddy Romer gave you four million dollars to start TYT. What did he expect in return? Should he not have given you money? Was the money not speech? It was just money, after all. It's just like a hooker, I assume. So, are you the prostitute? How did this work? Ooh. I've never seen this one. Oh my when god. When you take money you from all Jazeera, does that make you a hooker so for the guitarist? That was an How does awesome. That work? Can I? Whoa. That was an awesome conflation. Explain, if it has wow. nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement has Goodness. made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. Being transgender is His it's about the one bravest thing you can do. Did with she a, deserve the award? Yes. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Uh, it's not delusion. Why, uh, why would delusion. you call it delusion? Because... Bruce Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. Like, You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because disrespect. Okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body These is male with facts, the exception of some of his sperm cells. So again. you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you to discuss the genetics? Or well, no? Well, no, what no, are your no. genetics? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. No, I know. Well, yeah. but wait, to be fair, but to be, you, but to be, to be fair, fair, wait, to be fair, what do you mean? But to be you fair, you're, being, fair, you're being, actually being hey guys, rude. That is you're threatening. threatening. No, 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 like no, 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 sorry, it's not rude to say that someone who is biologically a male sir. is a male. Kicking in. Just someone who is biologically male is a male. Do I seem like a physical threat to anybody? The last time I was in a fight, I was 14 years old. I was two years younger than everybody else in my high school class, and I was getting my ass kicked about what happened in San Diego. you accuse me of standing on the graves? Of the children that die there. How dare you? I've seen you do it repeatedly, Pierce. Like I say, how dare you? Well, I mean, you can keep saying that, but you've done it repeatedly. But what you do, and I've seen you do it on, on the program, is you keep saying to folks that it's if they disagree savage. with you politically, then somehow this is a violation of, of what happened in Sandy Hook. And you have yet, I, I, I really like to hear your policy prescriptions for what we should do about guns. Because you say that you respect the Second Amendment, and you yeah. know, I brought this here for you so that you can read it. It's the Constitution. Yeah. And I, I would really like for you to explain to me what you would do about guns that would have prevented what happened in Sandy Hook. I don't. I reject state socialism personally. What I'm referring to I've is specifically, one. for example, the term given to worker cooperatives. The most prominent example, the Mondragon Corporation in Spain, owned the the. Uh, there is no investor or cap a capitalist group that pro owns the profits. When the company turns a profit, that profit is distributed among the workers. Some 80,000 employees. It's a wildly successful corporation. I mean, is it a voluntary association? Is there any cram down happening? No, there's not. Then good. But it's capitalist. That's not, that's not, that's not socialist. <laughs> it's not I like how you got tripped up because when I first saw that, I was thinking the same thing. Oh my god. I forgot what these things are called. What, like stand-ins or something like that? What does he say? Morons. 
Yo, I told you this guy was an unstoppable force. I'm not even just saying that because I just like him just because he agrees with me on, on a lot of sentiments. He's just very, you know what? These are the facts. I'm stating the facts. Are we going to start making laws based off of people's personal experiences? Or are we going to start making laws based off of facts, based off of the factual data? And there just comes a point where you have to stop and you got to look at the facts and say, you know what? Because I think for me, it becomes a problem when women think that there are boys or when boys Boys think that they are women and we start normalizing you know this behavior do what you want to do Aleister Crowley do what thou wilt you know what I'm trying to say everyone can just do if it feels good do it and that's the problem that we have in today's society so where does that line get drawn that's my question where is the line drawn because if I'm if I feel like I'm a girl then why can't the pedophile like the kids well that's not the same thing that's wrong but my question would be but why is that wrong? Why is it not right? Is that not discriminating against pedophiles? If I feel like I like that younger woman or that younger girl, then it shouldn't matter to you. And if you don't support me in that, then you're discriminating against me. People don't understand that once we start moving into the realm of feelings and all that kind of stuff, the, the line gets blurred to the point where anything can be legal, anything. That's really what had caught my attention. It's always that transgender, and the reason why I'm always harping on that a little bit is because I live in the most liberal state of all time. I live in California. Living in the most liberal state of all time, going to a very liberal college, I saw this all the time. I was surrounded by it all the time, and it just came to a point where I wanted to genuinely understand, genuinely research what it is and why um, what they believed, these these liberals, and why they believed it, okay? Because I want to be fair. I don't want to just sit up here and say, well, because I don't agree with you, you're stupid. No, no, no. I think it's more of, there comes a fine line of where I hear you, but here are some facts to back up what I believe. And these, in facts, don't care about your feelings. Facts are unbiased. Facts are facts. It's like math. You can't, if 2 plus 2 is 4, then 2 plus 2 is 4. You can't just sit up here and change it to 6 whenever you feel like it. Ben Shapiro, I call him Shapiro the hero. This guy knows exactly what he's talking about. Not everything do I agree with him in, but for the most part, as far as the transgender movement and the thing even about, about saying transgender a lot of people find that very very offensive so i mean but i don't i don't i don't really care you know what i'm saying like transgender you're transgender men are men and women are women you know but where's the line drawn you know you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below this has been a very fun and entertaining video. I wish to see more of this. On a side note, I have had some people already contact me in regards to videos that they do want me to react to. So, like I said, if you guys want to be a part of that bunch that want me to react to videos, I'll give you a shout out. Just make sure you um, hit me up at my email at jointheconvo750 at gmail.com. And yeah, um, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.